guys, this again is why you do not park a car under one of these. Yeah, look at that. Crazy. So unfortunately when I sold the Integra, um, I left my Civic battery in it and your man never got back to me. I did ask him, did he? Did I leave it in the car? And if I did, could he send it up to me or could I collect it? And he never got back to me, so you know, I'll just have to take it as a loss. Um, I'm gonna try and jump the car with no battery, so let's do it. So it doesn't want to start because I can't rev the Dacia. So hopefully get the missus out, get her to rev it up, give it a turn because it's not giving it enough power without the battery. So once it starts it's fine, it'll run on the alternator. But um, it's actually getting it started is the hard part. So let's get the weight. Now, I robbed the battery from the fear. I always forget to have a little car sitting there with a little battery, so it was a big square battery, so it didn't fit in the engine bay of the Civic, but the Civic is running. It has four flat wheels and loads of poo. Oh, Lord. So, I'm gonna pump up all these wheels and get to it. and clean. No more board poo. Ah, shiny. Yes. Now, try to move it back out under the board poo. Slot. Yeah. <laughs> Would be handy if you put some of this in your car. <laughs> Definitely. So the Civic has developed a splutter and doesn't want to run right. Sounds good sitting there but it's up and down as you can hear. And when we get in. Close the door. If you rev it lightly it's okay. That's lightly but you hear the backfire? Sweet as a nut. What the? Mm. She's missing definitely. No idea why, but um, look at he. 
we're case swapping. Um, so I'm not going to bother with NCT in the car um, as windscreen's broken. Nice big crack. And she's running like shit, so it's not going to pass the test like that. So I'm just going to send away and tax the car to make sure that it's legal. The car's insured and start the case swap sooner than I actually originally thought. The car is sitting here running, idling perfect. Like, perfect. Running, once you rev it, gone. That's lightly revving it, but once you put the foot down, So, yeah, I'm just gonna wind that window up, and get it all the way up, and then run her off. And she's gonna stay like this until it's down the garage getting case swapped. Let's get this back into the fear. Well that was fun, not. Let's go do something else. What's up everyone? Um, I'm heading down to Irish Car Parts to pick up my priming kit. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be less than 100 quid, but what can we do? I'm getting a five liter primer kit to do my car and then my brother's gonna need some to do with that other mini, so I don't mind him using it. He's bought enough products and I've used them, so tit for tat you know i'll get it one time he'll get it the next so yeah i'm heading out to get all that stuff now and i'll give you a quick update when i get it well, that's it guys everything is picked up and in the back right there behind me i'll show you a rundown of everything that i got when i get to the garage which will be five ten minutes so see you then oh it's bloody gdr very nice so just down the garage and you come down to a pleasant surprise that the Civic is no longer here but my brother just filled up the empty space that I made empty with all of his shit. <laughs> so yeah, he's on his way down and he's going to clean it.
What's up everybody? Heading down to the garage to collect my engine. And um, my brother finally, he's back in work with the all clear, good bit of health. And he's grabbing the engine from my cousin's place now. And I'm heading down to meet him. Also going to get a good few parts for his Civic. He's getting all new top arms because the camber arms that he got doesn't like. So yeah, I'm gonna go collect that now. So guys, first round trip made. That's Aaron stuff in the back. New wheel bearing, two top wishbones and anti-roll bar bushes. As when he done his first bearing, he smashed it completely. Then bought a replacement, didn't fit. Bought another one, didn't fit. Got this one, will fit because I looked at it and it looks the right size. It's bigger than the last ones. And he had uh, adjustable camber top arms on and it's weird. The, the, the nuts won't tighten unless the wheels are down, which he doesn't like. So he just replaced them with original Honda top arms. So we're going to head up to Mate Dan's garage where his Civic is getting worked on and we'll pop them on. As you see, the K20 is here. Bit of a pig getting it off the truck. He had no pallet truck to take it off with the tail lift, so we just opened the side doors to get it out that way with our trusted engine crane. Um, yeah, a big huge thank you to VTech Monkeys in the UK for supplying me with the engine. Um, he gave me an ECU which looks brand new. Uh, the drive shafts are here. I also have the radiator. He left the radiator hoses full, but I'm gonna buy the conversion hoses anyway so they fit properly and not be kinked in a way. There's a few bits and pieces I do need to buy for the engine. Um, I also have the power steering set up for it, so I need to, I'll Google that on YouTube and see what way that works or go out to my mates one and have a look at that. Um, so that's it down in the garage. I'm not going to be concentrating anything on that during the week. I am going to be concentrating on my Mini. That is getting done. It's getting sprayed. There's not that much left to do on the bodywork. As you can see, it's just this door to be done. It's literally just this. There was a few high and low spots on it. So my brother put some filler on it. It does need finalizing. This arch is okay. There's only a few little holes to plug up. Same on the other side. The roof is prepped, ready to go. The wings are ready to go, but these do need to be trimmed as they're catching the wheels. These little gold things are coming out and the holes are getting plugged. They're getting welded. So there's a, I'm going to put a little bit of metal behind it, weld the hole and grind it down. Then a tiny bit of filler. So it, it only takes maybe 10 minutes a hole. So that's the mini for now. Another thing I didn't run through with you guys was all the primer kit that I got and I have it here on the floor and we'll run through it. So what I picked up yesterday was, now this is wrong, this is actually filler primer. Um, it should have been the hardener but it's the same as this so it's three and a half litres of the primer and then he gave me a one litre primer so I have to bring that back tomorrow and get the hardener but what we have is we have we have rapid filler and it's grey, three and a half litres, and this gets mixed four to one to one. So it's four parts this, one part hardener, and then one part chips. So there's gonna be a lot of primer. And um, I think my brother said he was gonna do three coats of primer, and then we're gonna wet sand the car to get it down to a shiny finish of the primer to make sure that we don't have any high or low spots on the car. If we get it done in the first pass, perfect. That'll be less time working on everything. Once that's done, the car can be masked up. Now, I'm not doing inside the doors. That does not bother me. 
that can be done in a later stage. I'm not doing inside the brew. I'm not doing inside the engine bay. As it's not a full respray, it's just the outside of the car that I want to get done. So, yeah, guys, for now, that's it. Um, I will be down tomorrow, but it's just to do some finalising, cleaning up, getting rid of some parts out of the way. I'm getting rid of all of that cardboard tomorrow. As you can see, boxes, 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 papers, all that stuff. It's free to dump it anyway in the dump. So any cardboard that we have in the garage is going to go tomorrow. There's more boxes here with wheels in it. Maybe I'll take the wheels out, wrap them, put them up. Um, I have a manual steering rack here from an EG that a fella got onto me about Facebook on. So that's going as well. I have an EG6 fuel tank if anyone is stuck. Um, I also have an EG6 bonnet. As I've said in the previous videos, there's a few EG6 parts here. Message me, ask me for the parts. I'll nearly give them away or I might just give them away. I have glass Stanley headlights. I have plastics, I have speaker covers, there's a few bits and pieces, window regs, stuff that just needs to go. So all of this is going tomorrow, so the garage will be cleaner. These wheels are going tomorrow, I'm going to put the engine over there, out of the way. So I am getting an engine sand as well, the engine will go on that, I'll take the gearbox off, I'll take everything off, clean it up. I'm so excited about this. It's, I've been waiting so long to do something like this to my Civic. I know it's been done a heap. A lot of people have been doing it on the internet for years. But you know what? I'm in Ireland. There's not many of them done. It's not like America where these engines are everywhere. I had to get this engine from England. So it's just EP3s or K20 cars in Ireland are very expensive as they're not being imported. So it's very hard to get. An engine in Ireland or it's not that hard it's just smudgy camera it's just people want top dollar for them you nearly pay two and a half three grand just for the conversion and I got it for half of that so that's not too bad but it does need work it's not gonna be perfect straight off the bat so yeah guys I'm gonna leave it at that for now for tonight and I will see you in the next video or tomorrow I don't know how long this video is going to be because YouTube has been it. Yeah, you know what. So, yeah, guys, for now, it's peace out and see you soon.